Germany just announced their new sulfur battery technology that is a game changer. One of the most prevalent criticisms leveled towards EVs is their short range. Although a 300-mile range for a current electric car is becoming increasingly common, many fossil fuel counterparts may go twice as far on a single tank. What if your EV could go 900 miles on a single charge? Theon, a German battery manufacturer, is developing a promising technology that might provide this capability as soon as 2024. Want to know more about it? Then watch the video till the end. Welcome to eMotion. In today's video, you'll get to learn about all the details of the new sulfur battery technology which is announced by Germany. Now, without any further ado, let's get into it. Theon's technology relies on sulfur, and the company's name is derived from the Greek word for this yellow mineral. According to CEO Dr. Ulrich Emes, it has the characteristics required to bring a revolution in battery chemistry, with implications in all critical areas for EVs. Marek Slavik, co-founder and CTO, has been working on the technology for over a decade, and Emes is now bringing it to the market. Many EV naysayers on social media will remind you that EV batteries use rare earth minerals, which make them expensive and ethically difficult to create, particularly when cobalt is supplied from the Congo. Theon's strategy is to base its battery technology on minerals that are much more abundant than those used in conventional lithium-ion cells, while yet having equivalent energy density potential. Sulfur is the world's 10th most abundant element, and local sources are generally available in any desirable place across the world. At the moment, current battery technology uses nickel, manganese, and cobalt for the cathode, Ems adds. It's known as NMC811 since it's made up of 80% nickel, 10% cobalt, and 10% manganese. To make this technique function, the sulfur must be melted to create crystals. However, this temperature is just 112 degrees Celsius or 235 degrees Fahrenheit. So, what are the benefits of Theon's radical battery chemical shift? Okay guys, before we move any further, do you know which battery technology is more reliable for EVs? Then comment down below. In fact, with today's battery technology, an EV could go 900 miles. The issue would be how hefty the battery would be and how much room it would take up. Current EVs go between 3 and 5 miles per kilowatt hour, while power consumption may be much higher if you drive spiritedly or in harsh conditions. To be fair, let's say 4 miles per kilowatt hour. Using this number, it would take 225 kilowatt hours to go 900 miles. The current Tesla Model 3 2170 batteries have a density of 260 watt hours per kilogram. However, newer technologies can reach 350 watt hours per kilogram. Assuming the latter, the 225 kilowatt hour battery would weigh 643 kilograms, but 825 kilograms with the Tesla 2170 cells, with a Tesla Model 3 long range weighing about 1,850 kilograms. It's easy to understand why no other EVs currently offer a 900 mile range. Battery weight is determined by the gravimetric density of the cells, but volumetric density, how much space the batteries take up, is also taken into account. According to reports, the Tesla Model 3 2170 batteries have a volumetric density of 416 kilowatt hours per liter. While the weight is crucial, your batteries must also fit into a decent amount of space, leaving enough room for passengers and goods. To optimize space, most modern designs place the batteries in a skateboard configuration beneath the floor. However, many EVs still sit higher than their internal combustion engine counterparts to give the required floor thickness. When Tesla switched to LFP batteries in the standard Model 3 in Europe, it lost both gravimetric and volumetric density due to shortcomings in this technology compared to lithium ion. But the Model 3's battery box was designed to fit the larger batteries of the long range in performance, so this base model could simply take up more battery box space. Tesla looks to have increased battery capacity to give the new 305-mile WLTP range while losing some acceleration owing to the additional weight of LFP. Well guys, one more thing I'm curious about is which EV is your favorite? Emis claims that Theon's technology will dramatically increase both gravimetric and volumetric density, allowing its batteries to be either lighter and smaller in size for the same capacity or much larger in size for the same weight. 
Fion's current Gen 1 technology already achieves 500 kilowatt hours per kilogram and 800 watt hours per liter, well above Tesla's 2170 cells. However, Gen 2 technology promises to increase this to 700 watt hours per kilogram and 1000 watt hours per liter in 2023, followed by Gen 3 technology in 2024, which will produce 1 kilowatt hour per kilogram and 1200 watt hours per liter. Returning to our automobile with a 900-mile range, the battery would weigh just 225 kilograms. This would be about 60 kilograms less than the present battery in the Tesla Model 3 Long Range, which has a WLTP rating of 374 miles and would take up around one-third of the space. Theon's Gen 4 battery, coming in 2025, will have a little lower gravimetric density of 900 watt-hours per kilogram, but a greater volumetric density of 1500 watt-hours per liter, requiring slightly more than a fourth of the area of the Tesla Model 3 long-range battery. Theon also promises 2,000 charge-discharge cycles for its Gen 3 and Gen 4 technologies, which is more than the existing lithium-ion cells 1,000 to 1,500 cycles. Another critical factor is pricing, and Theon is promising great savings in this area as well. Our pricing objective is 30 euros per kilowatt hour against 90 euros per kilowatt hour currently, Ames explains. This is due to the fact that the materials used by Theon are less expensive, as is the energy usage. Production energy is 90% lower, with batteries accounting for around one-third of current EV costs, this decrease would easily drive overall car prices far below those of internal combustion cars. That present 225 kilowatt hour battery for 900 miles may be the same price as a 75 kilowatt hour pack for 300 miles today. Unfortunately, Theon will not be releasing its innovations to the EV market at first. We are now in discussions with the space business, Amos explains. We will then transfer the R&D access to the air taxi. And then there are mobile devices such as handhelds, laptops, cell phones, and wearables. However, EVs are clearly on Theon's radar, and manufacturing has been engineered to scale up to the volumes needed by electric vehicles. If this technology performs as expected, it might eliminate one of the last remaining hurdles to EV adoption. A 300-mile range city automobile would have a battery weighing just 75 kilograms and taking up only 50 gallons of space. In contrast, a Tesla Model 3 long-range battery with the same range requires 180 liters. However, if a vehicle like Tesla was outfitted with Theon's technology, it could potentially go 900 miles or more on a single charge with a battery the same size and weight as it is now. A 225 kilowatt hour battery would take about 30 hours to charge on a 7.4 kilowatt home charger and would definitely take more than an hour to reach 80%, even on the quickest public DC rapid chargers. However, if you can go 900 miles on a single charge, you may never need to utilize a public charger. Although both EVs and internal combustion engine automobiles were created about the same time, around the end of the 19th century, EVs have had significantly less time to develop. The EV as we know it now has only been around for a decade or two, but internal combustion engines have been developing slowly for almost a hundred years. The EV is already more comfortable to drive, quicker, and less expensive to operate than internal combustion engines. It's apparent that it won't be long until technology like Theon's allow EVs to go longer between refueling stops. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Thanks for watching.